I'm uh, Rear Admiral Simon Williams, uh, Royal Navy retired. Uh, I'm the Chairman of Clarion uh, Defence and Security Limited, and we uh, run the uh, uh, sister sort of trade show to uh, IITSEC, which is uh, the International Training and Education Conference uh, in Europe, ITEC. Uh, and uh, so, in answer to the question, what are the key trends uh, that I see in uh, modelling and simulation? Uh, over the next two decades, um, my first answer is more. Uh, it's a very simple answer, um, but actually it's a, it's a very logical answer, uh, not just because the technology is available, but because the environment, the if, if, one, if one were to look at the political, economic, social, technical, legal and environmental issues around military training, every single one of them points in the direction of an increase towards simulation and the use of modeling to replicate the environment. Uh, real time, real live fire exercises have massive environmental implications. Uh, they also have huge cost implications, both in terms of time for transit, uh, in terms of uh, the way in which it erodes readiness, because when you use equipment, you actually use up some of the very precious working hours that you have in that equipment. For airframes, you're using up airframe hours. Uh, for ships and submarines, you're using up hull hours. So actually, the, the logical extension on each of the, each of the main vectors uh, is one that leads one inevitably to the conclusion that you're going to be using more simulation and more modeling. Uh, because ultimately, the acceptability of the kind of live fire exercises and live training that we uh, people of my generation are accustomed to are increasingly seen as being unacceptable. Uh, and of course that's one dimension. The other dimension is that modern operations are increasingly complex and replicating the complexity and the ambiguity of modern operations is extremely difficult unless you enter a modeled environment and therefore, a simulated and modelled environment is the logical extension of every aspect that we uh, we currently undertake. So, I, it, the short form answer is more. The long form answer is more because of a whole set of uh, pressures and factors uh, that condition the way that that globally governments will respond. Uh, and therefore, the logic of more across all domains becomes inevitable, in my view. Thank you. Hello, I'm Yuval Boguer. I'm CEO of Sensix. We make virtual reality goggles and emulate military equipment. I'm here at the ITSEC show. Um, as far as key trends in training and simulation, what we're seeing is that the display technology is going to drive some very interesting applications. Traditionally, head-mounted displays used uh, micro displays such as OLEDs. And now, with the availability of high-resolution flat panel displays, one could create very compelling visual experiences at a much lower cost, and I think that's going to increase the availability of head-mounted displays for many additional applications that were previously price-limited. Yuval Boguer for Sensex. Thank you.